we could improve on uh, making using volunteers more wisely and using more of them. Volunteers, we wouldn't be able to reach nearly as many people as we can. I've been carrying all the that calls, all the fires, disasters, whatever that Red Cross needed to respond to in the river region. I've been doing this for a long time, man, 10 years, and enjoying every minute of it. I think too often we let process get in the way um, and we, we silo our volunteerism. We think, okay, if you're a disaster volunteer, you're always going to be a disaster volunteer. And we don't really push our volunteers into becoming health and safety volunteers and vice versa. So I think sometimes we've siloed too much. So I think we need to reach out. Um, but I also think that um, some of the processes are there for, for good measure. We need to uh, guard, safeguard the American Red Cross symbol so that whoever puts it on realizes that they are putting on the symbol of an organization and uh, represent that or organization to everyone they meet. I'm in the Red Cross to try to lift someone's spirit when they're down or lift someone up when they need help. Volunteers are priceless and they do play a big part in getting the work done, whether it be on the forefront or behind the scenes. I do every day, no, 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 just experience. I just, I don't know how much experience it is, but I know, I know it's, you get a lot out of it, of being here. And I think that's another layer. We give such great service. Both the outer walls were coming apart and we were in the building. I was totally flooded. Trains was pushed off the track. It's a tremendously powerful um, story that you're actually walking. That's what we're in the business of, helping people, you know, doing the best that we can for them, you know, and that's what we do. Mm -hmm.